Welcome to ISE's Equity Index Weekly Outlook, a weekly outlook on ISE and other industry indexes, hosted by Patrick Ceresna, a derivative market specialist and investment manager with extensive expertise in options and the broader derivative markets. ISE trades options on more than 15 proprietary sector indexes, as well as broad-based indexes and a variety of licensed benchmarks. ISC continually enhances its trading systems and develops new index options products to provide investors with the best marketplace and investment tools to trade smarter. Hello and welcome to the ISC Equity Index Outlook for December 19th, 2011. This is Patrick Serezna. As always, we start off the chart of the S&P 500 using that Spider Exchange Traded Fund symbol SPY. Want to start off by uh, taking a look at a key zone between this 120 to 122 level. Uh, the gap up higher on the spies uh, that shot up to uh, the 124, 125 level on the news from the central banks. Uh, we're now seeing the full gap fill of that move. Not only that, we're approaching what are the uh, Fibonacci retracement zones of the, of the this entire last rally right in here. Really at this stage, the, even though uh, we've seen some uh, predominant weakness in the euro as well as in the commodities um, uh, that have put some pressure on underlying stocks, uh, we're, we're still in a relatively bullish environment with the S&P and there still is room for a Christmas rally. And before we uh, put too much confidence in that move, we must stress that the, it's, it's going to be very crucial that we don't see any uh, a catalyst to have panic selling come in. Uh, early this week and uh, there's really not a lot of catalysts out there during the holiday season for this move so and so more than likely the support level holding will could uh, very well be the the uh, outcome here nonetheless if we see this flagging formation hold on this 120 to 122 level uh, hold that support it leaves room for that uh, year-end Christmas rally not only back to 127 129 but leaves room for all sorts of upside depending on on whether or not there's real momentum behind that uh, that buying but nonetheless we're at a crucial support line we're looking to see whether the bulls can dig in and hold this 120 122 if they do we remain optimistic that there's room for the S&P to the upside Next year, I want to take a look at the ISE Regional Banks Index, which is symbol JLO. And on the regional banks, the scenario is the same. You can see very similar characteristics to the S&P chart. We have that little flagging formation developing right in there. And just like the S&P, if we see uh, the whole market turn around and hold the, from these support levels, there's room for regional banks still to bullishly progress higher. Next year, when we take a look at the ISC Syndex, which is symbol SIN, this is an index of all those casino tobacco and distiller companies. And you can see that it, again, it shares very similar characteristics to the S&P 500 or even the regional banks index. Uh, there's a, in, a very large inverted head and shoulders pattern right there. And there is room for the index, uh, the Syndex to do uh, a bullish breakout here on the upside. But more than likely, with the regional banks and the Syndex, it will probably go the direction of the S&P. So if we have a a positive S&P move, both of these um, uh, sectors should do relatively well uh, uh, with the market. Next year, I want to take a look at the ISC Home Builders Index, which is symbol RUF. And the Home Builders had a really nice bullish pop and then gave it back very quickly uh, uh, in the middle of last week. Really, at this stage, we can almost draw this ascending trend line pattern right here. And uh, and what will be very important for the bulls to do is be able to dig in and hold these lines and leave their room for uh, for to reverse back up. If we saw uh, the Home Builders reverse all the way back down to 650, where the lows came in in November, uh, that would uh, at least stall the price action and make us a little more concerned that uh, that the home builders could roll over. Uh, in order for the bulls to really keep holding this, we want to see back above 710, 730 early this week and hold it up at those higher levels. Next year, when we take a look at that ISC natural gas index, which is symbol FUM, uh, commodities in general have uh, weakened substantially comparatively to some of the other sectors. Uh, this is obviously with a weak euro is pressuring U.S. dollar higher, which is weakening so many commodities. Really, we we uh, rejected again at that 120, 123 level. We were looking for a bullish follow through above there, never happened. But now that we find ourselves all the way down at this 105, 108 level, especially with such a rapid drop. 
drop down to this level. If this 105 level gives out on the downside, uh, then it would certainly open the window for a retesting of the 90, 95 zones down below. So at this juncture, uh, I'm not as optimistic on the uh, uh, the natural gas index as I was on, let's say, on the Syndex or regional banks or the SPIs. Really, um, uh, there's a lot more predominant weakness here, uh, and uh, and uh, there probably will be an underperformance in, in the natural gas index. Finally, when we take a look at that IC uh, Mini FTSE 100 index, which is a UKX, uh, again, just like the S&P 500, again, that little flagging formation, uh, all the global indices tend to move in unison. So when you take a broader indice like the FTSE and then you take the S&P 500, odds are that when one of them breaks one way, the other one will be following suit. So if, that, if the same flagging formation on the SPIs breaks out on the upside, more than likely the FTSE will follow with a breakout and subsequent not only test of the 565-570 level, but if the S&P 500 also exceeds its highs, then there's room for the FTSE to, uh, to strengthen even above 570. Nonetheless, uh, we, we will be tra watching the broader uh, U.S. market to kind of get a gauge where uh, some of the global indices will go. That was your ISC Equity Index Outlook. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for participating in this week's session. Please join us again next week. For more information about Patrick Ceresna and to sign up for free index options trade alerts, visit www.optionsource.net. To learn more about ISE index options, visit us at www.ise.com slash indexoptions.